So today's training session felt really great, um, and that's probably because I slept in really late. Um, I don't have work today, so you know that's just how it's gonna be. And for the first time ever, you guys, I actually cut my training session short. Um, you know, I have my 60-minute mark, uh, and at the end, I do like a conditioning piece, and I usually try to get like four or five rounds in. And, you know, after four rounds, I looked at the clock and there was like two minutes left. So I didn't really cut it that much short, um, but I saw that there was two minutes left and I was like, should I get another round in? I was like, nope, I think I'm good. I was like, you know what? More isn't better, better is better. So yeah, I feel great. I, you know, cut my training a little short, but I think it's gonna set me up for tomorrow's training. So yeah. Oh, and a little behind the neck strict press update. I did not add another pound this morning to my like four by 10 finishing uh, drop set session or whatever. Um, I think I might stick to the same weight tomorrow as well and then try to add a pound on Friday. I don't know, we'll see. It actually felt better today, the same weight, it, but it was still like a struggle for those last like two to three reps. So yeah, we'll see where this goes. Um, but yeah, good training session, um, cut it short for the first time ever, but I feel good. So happy place day 20. We're good to go. I hope you guys all have a great Monday and, uh, be safe out there. When you can't sleep and you wake up around four, you finish your entire one hour workout before 7 a.m. Yep. Oh, well. <laughs> So what happens when your brain just doesn't shut off. Isn't that right, Batman? That's right, we got it done. <laughs> so does that happen to anybody else where you get like three really great nights of sleep in a row and then all of a sudden your brain, it just starts like trolling you. It's like, no, 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 what's with this? good sleep trend. We're gonna, we're gonna throw a wrench in this. And then you don't just get like poor sleep, you get like really bad sleep. I mean, I think I looked and it said I slept four hours, but <laughs> anyways, needless to say, today's training session was a little hard. I was definitely, you know, dragging in it. Um, and I decided to change it up because I wasn't feeling that great. And instead of doing like 10 rounds or something, I kind of broke it up into like five rounds, rest, five rounds, rest, then like four rounds. So yeah, it was hard, but it is what it is. So today's training session, um, yeah, I don't know if I'd call it a high intensity day, but you know what? On a positive note, I want to say it helped me practice auto-regulation. So that's what I'm going to take away from it. Um, so yeah. Happy place, day 21, um, and it was hard, but a good practice session. You guys all be safe out there. Okay, it's been five years, or over five years, and I just want to tell you that it's not you, it's me. <laughs> okay, iPhone 6S, it's time to upgrade. Yeah, it's been a fun ride, but I think, you know what? I think it's time. It's time to move on. Oh wow, I'm totally not used to this new phone. And it's, it's big and hard to hold in one hand and record. But anyways, so I decided to do uh, power snatches this morning instead of power cleans, uh, kind of like a warm up for my other lifts. And yeah, that, that did not work um, at all. Nope, nope. Um, my bench press still felt horrible and I actually did less 
reps this week and uh, compared to last week. So yeah, I don't know what's going on there. I, you know, I have it out of order than I normally do and it's just not working. But at the end of the training session, I did add one more pound to my behind the neck strict press. So yeah, I don't know. I think it's like a give or take. I think I'll have to take the behind the neck strict press for this month because that's my goal. So so I kind of already know what's going on with my bench press. I mean, obviously I'm doing a lot more pressing than I normally would do and kind of like overloading in the pressing movement um, because of the behind the neck strict press. So, you know, either my body is going to respond from the stimulus and level up or die a horrible death as we're kind of seeing with my bench press, but my strict press is going up. So yeah, like I, again, I know kind of what's going on too much pressing, but I'm fine with it. That is the goal is to overdo the pressing and then see what happens. But yeah, so either way I got my, uh, weightlifting session done. No long cardio for today. Happy place day 22. We're good to go. You guys all have a great Friday and a great weekend. Be safe out there. It's that time again. Time to play What's in the Box. Well, this would be a special edition as we will be playing What's Inside All of These Boxes. So let's take a look. Got three boxes here. Alright, first one, bam, second one, ugh, oh come on, before the time's up, bam. Okay, now for the last one. I mean, I think everybody can guess what's in here. Oh, actually, this one goes up there as it's a special VIP edition. And let's grab the last one. What, how does this make sense? This is the biggest box here. It came with one thing. That one came with one as well. And this came with, like, two? Bam. And there's still, I know there's still one more thing in here. Yeah, sweet. This is a sweet VIP keychain. There we go. I should probably open that up, but there we go. Oh, the Harry Potter book collection. So I got a little cut off there, but what I was trying to say is that I only have three of the four Harry Potter Lego books. Um, I mean, there's four books there, but that Monsters book was an exclusive that you could only get if you ordered like a certain amount. So I still need to get the other one, but yeah, I got all those three. Um, and so let me show you. Uh, and I actually, I opened up this VIP Lego keychain, which I wanted to show you as well. Uh, yeah. That is pretty sweet. So that's what I got as well. Um, and yeah, these are pretty cool. They're like, uh, you know, they're books that kind of open up in the back. And yeah, so those are the, those are the four. I need to collect them all. So I'm missing one, which I will grab eventually, but yep. I'm very happy with what I have now.